technique but grounding technique we will do very quickly so once our grounding technique is done means once we grounded ourselves then we will enter into the meditation so that is also meditation in the meditation today we will introduce sanjivani shakti so jivani shakti vital power is the normal power when we are trying to take the energy directly from the sun means the same energy when you will project it to the sun it will increase many fold 10000 times 1 lakh times 1 million billion times it will increase and then that energy you need to observe from your shastra crown chakra and then today we will cover the physical body first then in the next session we will try to enter into our uh, pranamaya kosh okay so so sit in the uh, straight posture with your backbone straight and then you can keep any mudra so mudras are very important we can take one session so gyan mudra is the best one in the gyan mudra what you need to do is your index finger and your thumb you are going to keep it like this so this will complete one circuit so when the electromagnetic bio etheric energy will flow this is not going to uh, dissipate the energy so we will sit in the gyan mudra and you can keep on your lap like this and then close the eyes both the eyes inhale completely exhale completely inhale exhale now just follow your breath do not control it just watch it how it is coming and how it is going how you are inhaling and how you are exhaling so if your mind is going some in other direction from one thought to another thought then you can start chanting any mantra it can be any mantra if you are having guru mantra it is best it can be name of god jesus allah or om namah shivaya anything so one part of mind you can dedicate in chanting of the mantra and with the second part of mind bring your awareness to your crown chakra to your sahasra chakra now imagine from your sahasra chakra out of those thousand petals thousand silver cords are coming out and it is going to the center of universe and from center of universe which is full of positive energy from the cords you are getting this vital power jeevni shakti to your sahasra chakra from sahasra chakra it is coming down to your agya chakra from agya chakra to your vishuddhi chakra from vishuddhi chakra to anahat chakra from anahat to manipur chakra manipur to swadhisthan swadhisthan to muladhar from muladhar to lower body chakras going to your feet now from your feet several roots are coming out and it is going deep into the earth crust it in it is crossing the mantle it is reaching to the core 
and now all those roots reaches to the center of earth and now you are taking all the positive energy of the earth from those roots and why are you are feet it is coming to your muladhar chakra to your spadhisthan manipur anahat the center of heart to vishuddhi agya sahastra from sahastra chakra this time the silver cords are changing its color converting it into the golden cords now from this golden cords you are merging the earth's awareness to the infinite consciousness from your sastra chakra the cords are going in the upward direction and from the center of universe from the almighty you are taking all the positive energy again it is coming back to your sastra chakra to your anahat chakra to your muladhar chakra through your feet to the center of earth try to imagine yourself your anahat as the center point of this two cortex so from earth center the energy is coming to your anahat chakra and from your anahat chakra energy is going in the upward direction to the center of universe and from there it is coming to your anahat chakra now the frequency is very high now in one single second energy is coming from the universe through your anahat going to the center of earth in another second from earth to anahat chakra it is going to the center of universe now we are increasing the frequency now in one second 30 times it is coming and going again the frequency of this energy is increasing in one second 60 times it is bringing the earth consciousness to your consciousness to the infinite consciousness the energy is flowing so fast so rapidly that the physical body does not exist only etheric body is there and your entire body is now full of energy full of bliss full of happiness now the same energy imagine from your sahastra chakra from your buddha eyes from your anahat chakra which is at the center of your buddha eyes the energy is going towards the sun to jeevni shakti to rise towards the sun now it's merging with the sun and there it is increasing many fold it is becoming more powerful now the same energy from the sun it is converting it into sanjeevni shakti 
ten thousand times that powerful positive energy is coming to your sastra chakra. Now the Sanjeevni Shakti from the Sahastra Chakra is coming to your forehead, to your left hemisphere brain, to your right hemisphere. It is relaxing it, you are healing completely, to your both eyes. Both nostrils, both ears, to your face, energy is flowing to your cheek, to your chin, to your neck, both the shoulders, back side of brain, middle oblongata. the spinal cord, entire back, from shoulders to both the hands, to wrist, palm, all the ten fingers, to your chest, to your respiratory organs, Stomach, liver, pancreas, digestive organs, spleen, small intestine, large intestine, it is flowing to the excretory organs. To your reproductive organs, to your thighs, knees, both the legs, ankle, to the feet, and again from the feet. coming in the upper direction to both the legs, to your knees, thighs, reproductive organs, digestive organs, stomach, chest, back, spinal cord, to your shoulder, both the hands, wrist, palm, ten fingers, to your neck, to your entire face, to your brain, to your forehead, and you are feeling happiness, a feeling that you are healing completely. Feel the power of this positive energy. Entire physical body, entire Annamai Kosh. Now let's pray to Sanjeevni Shakti to enter in each and every single cell of the body. Now imagine energy is entering into each and every single cell. 37 trillion cells of this body. It is healing all those cells. Now imagine it is increasing the vibrational energy of all the cells. Inside cell it is going to each and every single DNA of our body. Only 
one to two percent of our DNA was activated earlier. Now it is activating each and every single DNA of our body. So energy is increasing in each and every single cell. From the cell it is going to each and every single DNA. The same energy is going to the entire nervous system. It is going to each and every single nerves. Now the energy is going into the brain. The entire brain is illuminating like a halogen bulb. Now energy is going to the entire spinal cord. That spinal cord start illuminating like a tube light. Now energy is so powerful that it has already overflowing from each and every single cell of this body. Now from the physical body, from the Annamai Kosh, let's pray that Sanjeevni Shakti please enter into my etheric body. Please flow into my Pranamai Kosh. So from the spinal cord, it start flowing into the Sushmana the energy enters into the Pranamai Kosh. Now it starts flowing into Ida Pingra and Sushmana, those three veins. Now energy starts flowing into ten major veins. Now energy starts flowing into 72 lakh veins of etheric body. Now energy start flowing into all the seven chakras at once. It is flowing into Muladhar chakra opening the four petals, it is rising up and flowing into Swadhisthan Chakra, opening the six petals, then to Manipur Chakra, opening the ten petals, then to Anaha Chakra, opening the twelve petals, then to Vishuddhi Chakra, opening the 16 petals. Then to Agya Chakra, opening the two petals. Then finally to Sastra Chakra, opening the thousand petals. Now it is flowing to the entire Pranamai Kosh. Now energy is overflowing. It has activated each and every single chakras. Now let's pray the Sanjeevni Shakti to enter in my third body to the Manomai Kosh, to the mental body. Now energy is entering into my third body. My all thoughts, it is flowing into all my thoughts. All the negative thoughts are becoming positive. All my past thoughts, present thoughts and the future thoughts 
It is energizing my mental body. My mind is becoming so calm, pure. Now energy is overflowing in the third body. Let's pray this Sanjeevni Shakti to enter into the fourth body, to the Gyanamaya Kosha. To the intellectual body. Energy start flowing into Gyanamaya Kosha. In this Kosha, all the past life karmas are there. So the way river Ganga flows and washes all the dirtiness, washes each and everything, whatever comes in the flow of river Ganges. In the same way, the flow of this Sanjeevni Shakti is burning my all past life karmas, all my negative karmas, all my karmas which is going to give me Sukh and Dukh, merits and demerits in my life. Pap and Pun, everything it is burning. Now energy is overflowing in this fourth body. Let's pray Sanjeevni Shakti to enter into the fifth body, to the Anandamaya Kosha, to the super causal body. Now energy starts flowing into Ananda which is full of bliss, full of light, full of divine energy. Here only the soul resides. Now pray to Sanjeevni Shakti to flow within me, within my real eye, within my real self, to my soul. Who am I? I am neither this body, nor prana, nor mind, nor intellect. I'm beyond all this form. I'm full of bliss. Anando. body is also overflowing with this Sanjeevni Shakti. It has entered to my soul. Let's pray this Sanjeevni Shakti to merge my soul to the infinite, to the Almighty, to the God's awareness, to the God's consciousness to the Shiv Shiva Consciousness, to the Jesus Allah Nanak Consciousness, where all the religion merges. Now the Sanjeevni Shakti is helping me to merging this finite to the infinite. Now I am 
वन वृद्धि outside world float in this room float to the city float to the bangalore city float to the canals float to the rivers float to the mountains float to the planet earth Float to the entire solar system, the nine planets, the sun, the moon, and the countless stars. This energy is flowing to the infinite universe, to the billions and billions of galaxies. Sanjeevani Shakti is helping me to do the inward journey and the outward journey. Now I am one with the universe. I am one with the infinite. Aham Brahmasya. शिवोहम सोहम 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 स्लोली ब्रिंग योर अवेयरनेस टू द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड Give the thanks and gratitude to the Sanjeevani Shakti, Jeevani Shakti, to the Lord, Sun, to the planet Earth, to the Almighty Consciousness. Move your fingers, bring your awareness outside. Rub your palms, both the hands, to your face. and open your eyes thank you so now we will just try to feel this feeling for another 2 3 minutes and we will wind up so i will say you just repeat that when we say when we are into the final body and we say we are anand anandu so we are just full of bliss okay just repeat anandu anandu see feel the happiness anandu 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 Ah uh-huh. 
ఆనందోహం ఆనందోహం So how you are feeling any questions be refreshed any doubt anything you want to ask so when you are saying third body fourth body basically what we should imagine so you should imagine both the ways so your so your first body is this physical body <coughs> so when you say your second body your second body is your pranamaya kosha so your pranamaya kosha is inside this body also to the stable level and outside this body also see the scope of this physical body is whatever you can see this and my kosh but your prana my kosh is inside this body and outside like for healthy person your prana my kosh will be 1 or 1 and 1/2 meter that will be the shape of this body so when you will do this siddha scanning and all then you will start seeing those bodies also but now you can feel it so your prana my kosh is exactly like this same maybe in the oval shape and 1.5 meters and when you will increase your awareness and when all these things will increase it will increase it will become 5 meters 10 meters 15 meters for the holy siddhas it will be 1 kilometers so whoever comes in his pranam ekosh his pran body all of them will start feeling the bliss the way you see wherever the eyes goes and it will make others happy so the main the way your aura increase so your pranamaya kosh is associated with your aura so it is inside outside then when i say third body your manomaya kosh so your manomaya kosh is inside your body also so if your pranamaya kosh is this, if your anandamaya kosh is this your pranamaya kosh your manomaya kosh and outside this body also your manomaya kosh is it will go to your home also it is that big it will go to the if you went to amritsar it will go to amritsar it will go to chennai it will go to delhi if you been to america it will go to america also so your pranamaya kosh is your uh, uh, manomaya kosh is bigger your third body is more bigger then if you imagine yourself as neil armstrong it will go to moon also then when you say you are fourth body which is your gyanamay kosh it is stable again inside this body is smaller and outside this body if it go it will go to the your past lives in so many lives you will been to different planets to different universe to different uh what i can say parallel universe so the scope of that fourth body is very big and if i say your fifth body your fifth body is again stable very uh, minute and then outside world it is beyond this physical universe so you need to imagine both the ways this way and the, that way and when you say the your soul is residing so where your soul is residing is your soul is residing in the fifth body to your heart somewhere and then outside world this entire universe is within you because your fifth body is so big that it covers everything and there your atma resides so where you are you are actually in the entire universe if you talk about this simple body only you reach and every single cell is your only correct this 37 trillion cell is yours only so all the cells are yours all this single cell i will say this hand is also me or this is my hand actually we are not this body i will change this body so when you will be in the different bodies so wherever our mind will be there one part of soul will resides there so we will be in this entire world entire body so then you will imagine then you will start feeling this entire universe is inside me so whatever you put inside your mouth it is inside you correct the same way when you will start practicing this meditation you will see the entire brahmand is nothing but in your brain it will come that is how you need to imagine this four body any doubt
Anything else? We'll wind up. Yeah. Time also is there.